Megan Farrell, it's December. A very unusual, I suppose, for all of us, I think, um, to be prepping for an All-Ireland uh, when the wind is sort of biting at your heels. Um, it's been a strange old year for yourself. How has it been? Yeah, it has been strange. You're not used to being getting ready for an All Ireland in December, all right. But uh, it's great. It's great to have something to look forward to, especially with the year that we've had. Like you know, and when we didn't know if it was going to go ahead or not, you know, you were, it was there was so much uncertainty with it. And then when it actually we got to go ahead, we were just so happy. So now that fact that we're actually in the All Ireland, you know, it's great. It's great. Um, the club championships obviously were back and you've managed to get a heap of games under your belt as well yeah. I'd say that was comforting as well just to get back out on the pitch and exactly. have something yeah. tame for regardless of whether we knew the Inter-County was going to go ahead or not Exactly we were just delighted that we were still playing anything at that, you know, at that stage and just the fact that we had the Thompson like I, I didn't know I was even going to be coming back in like which you know because I was meant we actually heading to Australia. <laughs> I was hoping to, you know, at the start of the year. And then when everything just happened with Corona, that I just stayed going with the club and then I said I'd just stay going with the county as well, you know. So. Absolutely. I suppose you're happy to be here though. Happy you to know, be here, delighted. In the circumstances. I know, yeah, exactly. I was like, I was devastated I couldn't go, but then I was delighted that we were still able to play, you know. So. Absolutely. So in the inter-county, uh, first couple of matches, I'm not going to say they were easy, there's no such thing as easy matches as well, but the big one was the semi final Final. Going into that game, Cork, that old hangover of Cork and All Ireland finals. Where was your heads going into that game? Yeah, I suppose there was such a hype built up about it, and that we were kind of the underdogs going in. So, like we were just going in to play any other match. Like I know it's Cork, but we were just <coughs> we just said just work on our work rate, and that's the main thing. And just I think it's supposed to spirit in the group and everybody just was delighted to be back playing and uh, just the fact it was Cork it was great like it was great to get to win It wasn't an easy start you just went to think 1-3 no. down at one stage as well no. mentally you would have been thinking oh here we go again yeah. but just got stuck in um, yeah. and there's a lot of mental resilience been built into that team over the last few years after what's happened as well yeah I think that might have been like say what we would have done before as in that mentality of oh here we go like you know but when it started and we got they got such a good start we were kind of we just dug in and we said like we're not letting it go this time you know we put in too many years now for this to let it go again so we drove it on now that you have that hurdle over you face Galway now yeah. you lost to Galway last year mm -hmm. so there's a bit of yeah. that again sort of in the back of your mind as well mm -hmm. but you got over that core portal and much now will that give you confidence going into that final knowing that you have sort of got that little monkey off your back yeah I think that was just a small factor like just the fact that obviously it's a big semi-final like but I think we're so like we used to be playing Galway in semi-finals you know the whole time and they're a great team like and we played them last year and they were brilliant like so I think we're just looking forward to the match ahead yeah. Looking at the stats uh, this year, your forwards are on fire. Um, been a fair amount scored, much more than Galway have so far, mm. and you've conceded less as well. Yeah. There are little things, though, that you can focus on and sort of stand to you going into that game as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, it's once we get the ball into the forwards, they're well able to score, so we just have to try and get the ball into them. That's the kind of tough part, but you know, when they get it, they're well able to score. It's great. Absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. Crow Park uh, on Saturday going to be empty yeah. that's going to be strange it's going to be different all right we've actually been getting such good support like online with our GoFundMe and everything like that and just people texting like it's unbelievable support like you know it's obviously people can't go to the match but it's just great for us like it just you know it feels great that people are actually behind us and I know a lot of people are going to be watching the match as well so you know, absolutely and yeah. listening in of course yeah. um and you're allowed to let more panel members in now this time as well. That must have been a bit of a relief. Yeah, I'm actually not sure about numbers and stuff like that now, but it'll be great to have everybody there because everybody put in the same amount of work and effort, so it's you know they should be allowed to be there. So We heard um, on the news overnight that uh, the All-Ireland winners, in hurling anyway, and I presume it's going to be the same for Camogie, mm -hmm. uh, might have to leave the Cups behind on the day and be no homecomings. That's... Oh, that's, yeah. yeah, that's that's. I actually what was, didn't. I didn't hear that. Now, to be was, honest. <laughs> yeah, I spoke about last night. Oh, okay. um, I think it was the GA president was talking about in terms of the hurling. So you'd imagine it'd be the same for Camogie and that as well. Yeah. That's going to be really strange. It will be strange, but to look, everything about this year has been strange. So yeah. I think you know it'll be only a minor part of it. If we if we get over the line, we'll just be delighted.